Hello, brothers and sisters, members of Spiritual Encrypted Encounters, and uh, the other sides. I'm going to share this too. I'm making a, a live video here on this profile because my other profile gets suspended for 80 something days. I don't know, it's been like 90 days, I guess, that I'm not able to make videos. But, but besides that, that besides that kind of control that Facebook has, you know, I'm making this video. And I want to talk to you all about, about how, well, first of all, let me send some requests. How you doing, uh, Brother Brandon? Uh, maybe I can send some requests. Well, I'm just going to go with the video. Um, I'm making this quick video here in my living room. Uh, just to let you know, you know, I've seen uh, some interesting questions on other sites. You know, there's people that, that believe uh, that some cryptids are just things that exist here in this world, and the, there's the there and there's some you know every every everything here in this world in this in this realm we are we are spirit, spiritual beings that that are here in the flesh. Uh, when the flesh goes away and our time finishes in the flesh, our spirit continues to live. Well, in that manner. That's how these unseen forces that would deal with this at a at a daily basis, they can they can still manifest into what the world wants, just like a ghost can can manifest itself what the world wants, right? When they were here in the flesh, they can manifest in that manner in spirit. Like I said before, the spirit continues to live, uh, in which there shouldn't be no confusion in any kind of way that it is possible to make contact with people of the flesh and spirit or vice versa people of the flesh to the spirit because we're all one it's, it's connected in that manner um of my encounters of, of what i faced uh it shows it showed itself to me in the form it decided to show itself to me uh which whether it was a beastly form or a form of an old man of whatever form it takes, you know, to me, it's a, it's, it's about the balance. Uh, there's a spiritual battle, spiritual war that's happening at a daily basis. And there's a lot of people that are not aware of this spiritual balance because they get confused or they get, they get caught up in, uh, whether it might be a Bigfoot or it's a, it's a dog man or it's whatever cryptid they want to believe in, you know, but when you give something like that power, well, somewhere along the line, it's going to take control. It's going to have something over you. It's going to have that opening. So if it's a being that's taking the form of what you think might be a cryptid, it's in some kind of way uh, having an opening on you in which if it's of spirit when, and, and you're thinking it's of the flesh, then it has that opening or that right over you to come and attack you in a spiritual and physical way because you live in that opening to it. Uh, that's what happened to me uh, when I was going through what I was going through. I was trying to figure out what I was seeing. You know, I was I was seeing these beings, you know, whether there were, I was seeing shadow figures. I was seeing this these beings that look like beastly. I'll say beastly. What I mean beastly, I'll say like, uh, look like werewolves. You know, people, they call them dogmen, but they call them werewolves. But I believe they're called other things uh, in the times before us uh, in the past. But I believe they were manifesting themselves in that manner, showing me the presence, you know. And and I guess uh, the more I've seen, I've seen them in some kind of way within myself, uh, I started believing what I was seeing because they were actually doing things that that we do, like something that we can do physically. That was doing that, uh, like for example, breaking branches, uh, big branches, or uh, shredding bamboo. Uh, that would also place rock formations in the middle of the street. They'd be banging on banging on rocks, uh, uh, ba uh, banging on trees. Sometimes you hear drum beats, you know, in some kind of way, you know, when these things are happening around you, and you start. Uh, seeing these things, hearing these things, 
somewhere along the line you start believing that what you're seeing is, is real and which in spirit it's 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 there but when we start giving it power right because we're seeing it in the what seems to be the form of the flesh then we start thinking well is it re a real thing so in some kind of way we get we're giving it power by believing in it in which it take, can take authority over us because we are acknowledging it right by giving it power so once that happened then he has authority over us to come and attack us spiritually which that's what happened to me uh it stopped taking the form of what i was seeing what i was seeing uh, what i was seeing it, the beastly form and the different forms that it took all of a sudden those forms were gone but then it's when the the attack started happening after after I acknowledged what I witnessed and, and thinking it was something that was real. Then it took its real form, in which its real form was a spirit form, right? Because they're, they're beings that can uh, manifest themselves, shapeshift themselves into any kind of way. You know, we can say they're shapeshifters. We can say they're, they're demonic beings. We can, we can talk about the Nephilim. Uh, we can talk about many other, other, other beings that could take forms of of anything that they would like so when it finally i couldn't see them in the beastly form or what i thought was a flesh then they attacked me in spirit and, and this is what i mean and i got some pictures brother and sisters i got pictures of me uh, how injured it was and i haven't posted it yet, but i am going to post them i'm going to place these pictures on spiritual cryptid encounters positive spiritualist and all the other sites that i'm on i'm going to place them just so y'all can see that what i'm saying is real uh that once i left the opening for myself thinking that it was some real beings that were here in the flesh then they took their true form right because in some kind of way they had authority over me and their true form was of spirit and that's when they started attacking that's when they attacked when there were spirit form and what i mean by spirit form is imagine getting dropped getting hit in the back and you fly five feet six feet in the air you turn around there's nothing there i was getting hit from the front i was getting hit from the back i was getting hit from the sides by an unseen force and what i mean by an unseen force it was a spirit form right it wasn't showing me uh the flesh form that he was taking that that it uh, deceived me by it took the the spirit form uh to attack me spiritually so at least if it was in a beastly form i would have been able to fight it physically but that's not what it was about the creature wasn't about being in being a physical being uh it was a being that was of the a spirit so when they started attacking me in spirit that was when it was pretty bad it's like i would pray daily and i would say god when when is this going to stop what am i doing wrong why am i continuing to get attacked by this unseen force i i i can count how many times I got dropped to the ground by this unseen force. And I'm talking about getting hit hard, flying four or five feet, tumbling. Uh, it was attacking me, you know, a uh, spiritual attack, a uh, full force spiritual attack. And I believe it wasn't just one that was attacking me. It was many that was attacking me. But somewhere along the line, through the bumps and the bruises, because like I said, I have pictures. I have pictures. I got shoved off a cliff. Uh, I guess it, it, it shoved me from the back. Uh, shoved me so hard that I, f I went tumbling down a cliff. Uh, shoved me off, I believe, two cliffs. Uh, but even uh, on flat ground, I got hit. Hit in the back, hit in the front. And I would fly four or five feet and tumble. So that right there started happening to me. And I could understand if maybe, you know, because when I said my story, I tell people what I've seen, in which I did see a beastly form. But then when you don't see the beastly form no more, and when it was in beastly form, it didn't attack. 
it attacked when it was a spirit form, which is unseen. Imagine unseen and getting physically attacked. Your flesh is getting physically attacked by unseen force because it's hitting you, it's shoving you, it's it's causing damage to your body, to the flesh. And at times, it would attack you when it was a spirit form of attack and it would drain my energy. It would drain my energy. But I'm, I'm making this quick video. It's, it's a quick video just, just to let you know one thing, brothers and sisters. Uh, for whoever is opening themselves to something, be careful what you wish for, what you ask for. That's all I can say because what I experienced. Because if you start believing in, into it, that's the opening that it needs. If it's, it's if if it's a spiritual, a spirit being, right, and it's of the spirit, and you're living that opening, that is manifesting itself to for you to think it's something. That's the only opening it needs to attack you in the flesh and in the spirit, just like like it did me. Uh, just be careful. That's all I can say. I survived that. I'm still here. I'm doing a lot better than what I was doing. I say, what was it? Like from when it first started happening to me, it's been like eight years. When it, it, it attacked me, that was like four, uh, five years ago. Uh, I survived that. And I want to uh, tell you how I survived that. I survived it by, by taking authority over it. You know, by by closing any openings I had, uh, any openings of forgive unforgiveness, uh, I, I, I cut any negative ties I had because I was trying to figure out what was the opening it was using to continue to attack me. You know, apparently it's in an opening, and one of them was that I allowed it to happen because I thought it was something that was of the flesh, and when I started believing that. And it was something of the spirit that's the opening he used to attack me. But once I took, uh, asked for forgiveness for anybody of my past, and I took took authority over it, brothers and sisters. That's when everything that was happening to me, whether it was physical or spiritual, stopped. When I asked God for forgive uh, that I forgave that I forgave everybody in my past, everything stopped, and that's when God intervened. But it's something that I'll never forget. Uh, and when I see people that are out there in the field, that they're trying to look for this and they're trying to look for that, I know one thing, that there's a lot of things that are out there and what I encountered, thank God that I'm still here alive but I'm still living because, like I said, I'm gonna post some pictures of what I went through and you're gonna see that I was attacked, not just in the spirit, but I was always attacked in the flesh. Uh, but that's all for right now, brothers and sisters. The uh, the best way, the best thing I can tell you is Montana Love Foundation. Do not give something that might be shown to you. Don't give it power by believing in it. Uh, not even acknowledging it, because acknowledging it could be an opening. The only thing I can say is follow your heart, follow your spirit, and use that to to be able to uh, overcome it because not everybody not everybody is going to be tested in that manner not, not because I'm better than nobody or anything like that it just it happened to me and I, I don't want to wish I, I wouldn't want to wish or want nobody to go through what I've been through uh, it's something I'll never forget, but it just made me a stronger person. And I know exactly what to do to overcome uh, that kind of negativity uh, that's of spirit. And it manifests itself into the flesh to try to deceive mankind. Uh, everybody have a beautiful, blessed day. God bless every single one of y'all. Peace.